Number two in the homework set is the uh, ladybug problem. So you've got this ladybug walking on a record player while the record player is spinning. But from the ladybug's point of view, if the record player is not spinning, he's just standing on it. And there's some mysterious force throwing the record, throwing the ladybug out. So the coordinate systems you need to draw uh, is Superman's outside the system, but his origin is right at the center of the record player. Meanwhile, Sally Sue is standing on the record player, and from her point of view, the record player is not spinning, and, but her coordinate system is spinning with it. And I would use cylindrical coordinates for her coordinate system. And uh, that way, Superman's K hat and Sally Sue's Z hat line up with each other. Remember, Z hat in cylindrical and K hat in Cartesian are the same thing. So you apply the equation here, and uh, this piece here is the mx double dot prime. Now, <clears throat> is this thing accelerating? Yes, the ladybug is walking. Not only is the ladybug walking, ladybug walking, the ladybug is walking in a circle. So you've got a ladybug on here. Six legs. Antenna. Ladybug's walking this way in the phi hat direction. And that would be phi hat prime direction because we're talking about Sally Sue's information here. And so that ladybug is walking in a circle, therefore there is centripetal acceleration on that ladybug in the form of mv squared over r. So this is, there is acceleration from Sally Sue's viewpoint, and that's because the ladybug is walking. Okay? And so uh, remember in, in cylindrical coordinates you're going to have rho, phi, z. So you're going to have m times the rho part here, uh, rho, phi, and z. And the rho part is going to be towards the center, negative, and it's going to be v squared over r. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And then on this side, there's going to be uh, real forces on the ladybug. Uh, what forces are on the ladybug? Normal force, friction, gravity. So we better give those the right directions and put those in terms of cylindrical coordinates on the ladybug right here. Rho, phi, z. Okay, which things are pushing it up and down and sideways? Which way sideways? Need to figure that out. Which, which way is the, what allows for this centripetal acceleration? What pulls the ladybug to the inside here? There's got to be a real force that does that if the ladybug really is walking. Okay, so there's really some forces here. So real forces. Now, the ladybug, the coordinate system that Sally Sue is standing on is not linearly accelerating. It's only spinning. So we'll get rid of this piece altogether. There's no linear acceleration. Not only that, but it's a record player that's not getting faster or slower. So this piece is also gone because omega dot is gone. But you will have both of these. So now you've got to remember that omega is in the direction of, uh, from Superman's viewpoint, is no, notice omega is not primed. Because from Sally Sue's viewpoint, there is no omega. But from Superman's viewpoint, that record player is spinning with a given speed of omega. So you have to figure out what that is and what direction that is in. k hat. Okay? And then you've got v prime. What's that? That's the speed of the ladybug from Sally Sue's perspective. What's R prime? That's the location of the ladybug from Sally Sue's perspective. So you've got to write all that out, and you're going to end up with three equations here. And uh, the, the, <coughs> the, the three parts, rho, phi, and z, you'll have nothing in the phi part. But you will have a rho part and a z part, and uh, that part you'll use. So um, there you go. I hope that helps. Uh, okay, that's number two.